When we think of fitness, jogging, biking, or weightlifting might be what you imagine, but some exercises require the body and mind, not to mention a lot of patience and concentration. And this week's four on the job, Chris Jacobs heads over to Mission to take a stab at martial arts. Only 10 uh, competitors can do this in the world. Only 10? Yes. Tucked away in a small mission shopping center Aye. is an eighth degree black belt uh, yeah. Yeah. and former national USA team coach. This is the real deal and yeah. he's right under our noses he's and nobody class knows about here it. In mission, Texas. Since Kunio Miyaki founded his martial arts school in the mid 80s. Ultra. And students have been singing his praises ever since. I think he's amazing. I mean, it's incredible how he's done this for over 60 years, and yet he looks, you know, young, and he lo he loves his job. Alexandra Murrow got her black belt the day we got there. And I've been looking forward to this since I was probably like 13 or 12. It wasn't something like I had in mind when I first started because I had no clue I was going to be into karate. I was essentially taking classes with a teenage girl who could destroy me in a fight. The last time I was in a karate class, I was eight years old. So I was on the beginner's side of the mat. We go through a couple of drills. My timing and form aren't exactly the standard, but I like to think I finally got the hang of things, even though I didn't. Karate doesn't matter you age, yes? Anytime you start, you can get the benefit. Yeah. Some of the students in the class are twice my age. Sensei himself is 72, but none of that matters. You got to be completely relaxed. You got to let everything flow. And uh, I mean, I just, it's like wusha for me. It's an art and exercise, not about brute strength, but focus and determination. You got to keep pushing yourself to always do your best. It's like the competition is with you, no one else, to always be better, always improve. My second lesson in the dojo is Iado. Now we're going to Kiyoroshi, you go cut it all the way down. A form of Japanese swordsmanship, Sensei's wife teaches this course. Uh, I've always admired the samurai culture, the Japanese uh, old way, and I think we need a little more of that these days uh, amongst ourselves. In most of the routines we learn, I'm way behind the curve. But as the saying goes, practice makes decent. When the swords are put away, not only is there a calm feeling, but also a sense of respect. It's not just like about the movement, it's about the discipline, it's about the focus. And that's really why I enjoy this so much. If you're interested in taking a class or maybe curious about Sensei's school, you can give them a call at 956-342-4671. And if you have a job you want Chris to try out, you can email us at onthejob at valleycentral.com.